Yeah, we got the two kids just like you, Paul. And the way I say it is the bedrooms are full and we are done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, but I've told this story before. You know, the arrival of our first child, our son made me made me get a written budget together. Um, you sort of have that moment. Uh, and it's a wonderful moment. And, and every dad, let's just talk about the dads here for a moment. Um, you know, every dad has that moment where they look at that kid and that light switch flips. At least that's the way it was for me. Um, I, 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 would, I can say clearly that I was a different person in the three seconds from the moment I, from the moment I saw that face, bang, I just, I just became a new person. Um, and your, your priorities realigned, your wiring gets completely redone. Um, it's just, you're, you're a brand new person. Um, but, you know, you, then you get home and so you get into that rhythm and, and suddenly you start to see, oh, I got to get my act together here if you don't have it together already. Um, and so in getting that written budget together, I quickly realized that we were in major financial trouble. Uh, you know, we had this giant house, which of course we bought before we had the kid because we had, you know, the two salaries and, and, you know, lots of money flying around and we're like, sure, let's buy a big house. Um, and when you start to add in the expense of that first child, and then maybe even that second child, you have that, uh oh, moment, especially when you write down that budget and you realize that, uh, at least we did that, uh, you can't afford that big house anymore. So we cut our expenses. We paid off lots of debt. We swore off un, uh, unfunded expenses, and by that I mean if you don't have the cash coming in to cover the expenses, an unfunded expense means it's going to go on a credit card and you're going to have to pay for it later with interest. Um, it took several years for us to write our financial ship. Um, we had a second child along the way, our daughter. Now we're in a place, and I think this is eight or nine-ish years later, we have an airtight budget that we do not violate. Um, with that part of that budget is regular savings for kids, both long term in the form of college and short term in terms of funding things like back to school clothes and athletic, you know, uh, sign ups, you know, sports sign ups and camps and things like that. Um, but along that way, and it's a very long path, we've developed new habits and new ways of living. And I think that's the most important thing that you can do when you're a parent, um, just like your your internal wiring gets switched. You know, that moment, the moment you see that face, like I said, you've got to rewire your financial habits as well to make sure, um, and this is the, the mom's and the dad's job, but here we are dads talking, um, you've got to rewire your financial habits to make sure that your family is, is going to do well for the long haul. Um, and that's what we realized, you know, in the rearview mirror that what we needed to change our habits and how we live and what that costs. Um, and it is amazing looking back at how much money we spent on stuff that I can't even remember buying or I look back now and know we absolutely did not need that thing, but we bought it anyway. Um, and, and so if you can get your arms wrapped around that as quickly as possible before you have kids and even more so after, the better off you're going to be.